This is Mike with the Fighting News. I'm here with Gaspard Pierre. Gaspard, how are you doing, bud? I'm good. How about yourself? Man? Doing all right? I'm good. Pull that win. Cruiserweight 3-0 and now. Yes. You got that first round stoppage. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened in the fight. Um, first round, I just came out. I used my jab. I just wanted to see what he had. Once he made a mistake, I just capitalized off of that and took him out. All right. I mean, obviously, you put a lot of preparation and training into this fight. Tell us a little bit about what you did to prepare for this. Um, for this fight, we prepared really good. Me and my camp, my team, I had a really good team supporting me on my camp. Um, we trained about three times a day, two times a day, all day. We was just training really hard, so tonight was really easy. So we put in a lot of hard work. Today was easy. Gotcha. Okay. And cruiserweight, that's a comfortable weight class for you? Um, it, it's a comfortable weight class, but I, I did fight this fight at 185. I'm going down to light heavyweight, and that's where I'm going to have my career at. Okay, that's the plan. Yes. All right, so three fights now. Cruiserweight, how many more before you actually step down to light heavy? Um, my last fight was at 195. This one was at 185. We'll see what's next for my next fight. And then really soon we'll be at that light heavyweight, you know, that light heavyweight, um, what is it, um, light heavyweight division. Yeah. And then I'm going to be in there really soon. Taking over and doing big things in the light heavyweight division or cruiserweight division. Just boxing, period. I'm going to do big things. All right, so cutting the weight's no problem for you? No, it's not. It's just hard work. You know, hard work, and then it's going to be easy. You know? right. Easier when you're young. Yeah. <laughs> just preparation, knowing what you got to do, and just have a good routine and stick to the routine. Yeah. Right. So who are your coaches? Who works with you? My main head coach is Coach Eric Rohn, Coach Slick. He's standing right over here. I also have my cut man that's over the... Um, over the gym, cut, um, CME, cut man Eli. I have my strength and conditioning coach, Coach Dayron. He's standing over here. And my coach, my head coach, he actually sends me around to other gyms and coaches, and we work and we learn off other people. And we, we just like a big family down here in South Florida. So, right. yeah. so coming into your pro career, how much of an amateur career did you have? I had a really good amateur career. I had a short amateur career of three years, but I accomplished a lot in those three years of my amateur career. I was really busy in my amateur career. I fought. To average all my fights three years, I fought like maybe once or twice a month, like very active. I had 45 fights. I won state Golden Gloves twice. Um, I was ranked in the nation in the top five. I represented my my, um, my home country of Haiti. I was on the Haitian national team, and I have about three national titles and six six state titles. Okay, gotcha. I mean, so at this point, what's next? When's the next fight? Next fight should be early August or, or late July. I don't have a set date, but I know it's something coming up soon, so I'm going to just stay ready and stay prepared. So pretty much every six weeks or so you're looking for something? Most definitely, especially at the beginning of my career. I'm looking to stay active, All right. get busy. You know, we had a little fallback with the, um, the pandemic and everything that was a little slower. So now that everything's opening up, you know, we're in Florida, everything's open. I'm ready to get rolling and get moving and get rocking, you know? I see everybody watching out there right now. What do you want to tell your fans and how can they follow you? Uh, I want to tell my fans they go follow me on Instagram at GP underscore Baller, GP underscore B-A-L-L-A. -L -L um, and my other Instagram, Sweet Feet underscore GP. Um, my first and last name for Facebook, Gaspar Pierre. And I want to just tell my fans, uh, man, thank you for supporting me. Keep supporting me. I'm going to be the face of boxing, and I'm going to just do big things here, all right? Keep supporting me. All right, once again, Gaspar Pierre, winner tonight, first round, now 3-0. and Cruiserweight coming for you. Dropping out of light heavy soon enough. Watch out for that too here at Title Night 2 down in Miami. Mike Feinberg, The Fighting News. Take care, everyone. Stay safe.